right, we are going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to be working with the vinyasa flow class, so we're going to be moving with the breath. It's going to be a little bit faster pace, but we'll make sure to check in with alignment and different things like that, making sure we're moving in safe ways. All together, making our way to a resting seated position as we begin, allowing the hands to rest gently on the knees. Perhaps that's face down if we're looking for something within the self today or face up as a sign of receiving from the energy around us and this space. But wherever we are, we're allowing the eyes to shut softly. Big deep breath in, allow those shoulder blades to come close to the ears. Exhale, roll them down the back so the spine is long and the chest is lifted. Taking a couple moments to get acclimated with the breathing. Inhale through the nose for a count of four. Pausing at the end of that breath, followed by an open mouth. Exhale for a count of five or six. And repeating this pattern in through the nose for a count of four. Out through the mouth for a count of five or six. Slowing down the breathing and the heart rate before we build up some heat in our practice today. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Allow those shoulder blades to fall away from the ears as we exhale. us to allow any thoughts or emotions that exist outside of this space to remain outside so we can be fully present for ourselves throughout this practice. Fully present for our body and mind. Isolating our focus onto each movement and each breath today. exhalation we're allowing our chin to make its way down towards the chest so the cervical spine is long we can shake the head no releasing any tension in the cervical spine as we inhale drawing right ear towards the right shoulder getting a nice extension in the left side of the neck if we'd like releasing the left palm to the floor beside us we can walk it away from us for a deeper extension here from those fingertips through the full length of the arm, all the way up into the jaw. Perhaps gently moving the chin down and back up, just exploring the micro muscles in the neck, perhaps noticing a spot that needs a little more of our attention and remaining there. Guiding the breath towards the extended space, imagining what that could look like. As we exhale, bring the chin to chest, inhale, left ear to left shoulder, nice extension in the right side of the neck. If we'd like releasing the palm directly beside us, walking that right hand away from us for a deeper extension here from those fingertips through the full length of the arm all the way up into the jaw. And if we'd like, gently moving the chin down and back up, just exploring the micro muscles in the neck, perhaps noticing a spot that needs a little more of our attention and staying right there, breathing. And as we exhale, chin meets chest one more time, right ear comes towards the right shoulder, nice extension in the left side of the neck. We'd like releasing the left hand beside us, inching it away for that deeper extension. Perhaps we're even lifting the left hand off the ground, getting a nice stretch throughout the full length of that arm and all the way up into the jaw. And as we exhale, releasing that hand, bringing it in, chin meets chest. 
Inhale, left ear comes towards the left shoulder. As we'd like releasing the right hand to the floor and inching it away from us for a deeper extension. Perhaps we're exploring lifting that right hand off the ground, stretching through the arm and all the way into the jaw. And as we exhale, chin meets chest, bring the right hand down. And in, as we inhale, we can lift the gaze up to meet each other. Beautiful, allow those shoulders to soften, fall away from the ears. All together, reach both arms up to the ceiling. As we exhale, right hand meets the floor, extend through the left side body. Take a deep breath in here. Followed by a nice open mouth exhale, sinking just a bit deeper. Inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, rotate over opposite side. Nice breath here. Inhale, come right back to center, reaching through those fingertips. Exhale, bring both hands in front of us, soften chest and chin, getting a nice stretch in the low back, warming up the spine before we get into the bulk of our practice today. Breathe. All together, inhale, walk those hands to the right side, keep the chest low. And our next inhalation, walk the hands over left side, chest and chin is nice and soft here. Inhale, come right back to center, hold. And on our next inhalation, walking the chest up to meet each other. Beautiful, making our way onto our hands and knees. Checking our alignment when we get there. Shoulders are above the wrist and those knees are hip width apart. Check in with those toes, allow them to be tucked behind the thighs as much as they can be. Inhale, open up, drop the belly button down towards the mat, lift through the crown of the head and the tailbone. As we exhale, tuck the tailbone and chin, round out the back, press through those muscles in the back body, inhale, open up to cow, belly button, drop it down, lift the crown of the head and the tailbone. Exhale, round it out, shift through that spine, tuck tailbone and chin, inhale, wide, belly button comes down, shoulders roll down the back for cow, Exhale, round it out to cat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, open up nice and wide. And exhale, round it out, tuck tailbone and chin all together, come to a nice neutral spine. Allow the right foot to come outside the mat, the gaze follows that back heel, nice compression in the right side body. Inhale, right foot comes in, exhale, left foot comes just outside the mat, allow the gaze to follow. Inhale, left foot comes in, exhale, right foot comes out, allow the gaze to follow. Perhaps lifting into the right heel, engaging the glute muscle to do so. Exhale, bring the right knee in. Inhale, left foot comes outside the mat. Allow the gaze to follow. Perhaps lifting through the left heel. And as we exhale, bring the left knee in all together, bringing the big toes together, knees wide and out, send the chest all the way down along with those hips for child's pose. Take a nice deep breath. And all together, returning to our table to top position, flipping the back toes, guiding the hips up, diagonally back into downward facing dog pose if we'd like, having a slight bend in these knees if we have really tight hamstrings, focus on keeping those hips high. Take a deep breath. We'd 
like pedaling out these feet, bending into one knee as we send the opposite heel down, just warming up those hip joints, the muscles in the glutes prior to beginning our flow here. And all together, come to center, nice and strong, down dog. Inhale, walk the feet up towards the hands, chest stays low, forward fold. Big deep breath. On our next inhalation, lift the back up just halfway. Hands rest gently on the shins for half back. Exhale, soften, round out the spine. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, round, everything collapses. Hips are high. Inhale, last time, half back, hands rest gently on the shins, reaching through the crown of the head. Exhale, soften, everything comes down. On our next inhalation, rolling that chest up, vertebrae, divertebrae, that means our head comes up very, very last, allowing those shoulders to roll down the back, adjusting the feet so they're hip width apart. Turn those palms out so they're facing the space around us, engaging the core, making sure that tailbone is nice and tucked for Tadasana, standing mountain pose. As we inhale, lifting those toes off the ground, exhale, placing each and every toe back on the mat, finding grounding here. Inhale, draw both arms up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down, extend through left side. Inhale, come right back up to center. Exhale, lean that left hand down towards the left leg, reaching through the right side body. Inhale, right back to center. Exhale, hinge at those hips, allowing those arms to be super wide as they come all the way down. Forward fold, hips are high. Inhale, lift the back up halfway. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, half back. Exhale, round. Inhale, half back. Exhale, soften. All together, bending the knees as much as we need to to ground the hands on the floor. Step the feet back, hips are high, down dog. As we inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog, holding here. Exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest, shift those shoulders over wrists. Inhale, press through, right heel reaches up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Two more times, exhale, bend into right knee, bring it in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, reach the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. One last time, exhale, bend into right knee, send it towards the chest, shoulders over wrist. Inhale, shoot that right foot back up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrist. Just as a transition, draw that right foot onto the mat between the hands, low lunge. All together, release the back knee, flip onto the top of that back foot so we find grounding here. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand comes down towards the ground, extend through the left side body. Inhale, center, exhale, float over opposite side, left arm meets the floor, extend through the right side. Inhale, right back to center. Exhale, release both hands, flip onto the top of that back foot, coming off the back knee, low lunge. All together, grounding the hands. Inhale, send the right foot back, hips are high, down dog. As we inhale, draw the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over wrists, hold. Inhale, shoot the left heel back up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into left knee, shoulders come over wrist. Inhale, shoot the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. 
One last time, exhale, bend into left knee, shoulders come over wrist. Inhale, send the left heel up to the sky, three-legged dog. As we exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over wrists, just as a transition to bring that left foot between the hands, little lunge. All together, release the back knee, flip onto the top of that back foot. As we inhale, draw both arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the left hand down onto the ground, reaching through the right hand here. Inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, rotate over. Right hand meets the ground. Extend through the left side. Inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, release those hands down onto the ground. Flip those back toes, come off the back knee. Low lunge. All together, inhale, step the left foot back. Hips are high. Down dog, breathe. As we inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over wrists. Just as a transition, draw that right foot between the hands, low lunge. Make sure that ankle's underneath the knee for proper alignment. Inhale, draw both hands up to the ceiling, high lunge. As we exhale, releasing that back foot about 45 degrees, Turn both palms out so they're parallel to the ground, warrior two. Inhale, flip the top hand, exhale, high five, the back wall, reverse warrior. Inhale, come right back to center, warrior two. Check in with those fingertips, no lazy arms. All together on our next inhalation, shifting the chest over the front thigh. Allowing that front hand to flip, the back hand comes forward for power warrior, hold here. And on our next inhalation, open up to warrior two. Take a deep breath, all together, inhale, square those hips towards the front of the room. Warrior one, coming off the back heel, Pressing into the balls of that back foot, high lunge. Exhale, release both hands down onto the ground. Inhale, step the right foot back, hips high, down dog. Take a deep breath. Inhale, draw the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bring the left knee in towards the chest, just as a transition to draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling, high lunge. On our next exhalation, releasing that back foot down onto the ground at about 45 degrees, arms open up, parallel to the floor, warrior two. Holding here, check in with those fingertips, no lazy arms. Inhale, flip the top hand. Exhale, high five the back wall, reverse warrior. Breathe. Inhale, come right back to center. Hold, warrior two. On our next inhalation, shifting that chest over the front thigh. Flip the top hand so it face the ceiling. Draw the back hand forward. Power warrior, hold here. Breathe. Inhale, come right back to center, warrior two. All together, square those hips towards the front of the room, reach the arms up to the sky, warrior one. Come off the back heel, returning to our high lunge. Exhale, release the arms down to the ground. Inhale, draw the left foot back, hips are high. Down dog, breathe. On our next inhalation, walk those feet up towards the hands, keeping the chest low, forward fold. Inhale, lift the back up just halfway, hands rest gently on the shins. Exhale, soften, release that spine and the neck, arms are soft. 
Inhale, lift the back up halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, half back, nice long spines reaching through the crown of the head. Exhale, soften. And on our next inhalation, rolling that chest up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Our head is coming up very, very last. Once we find ourselves standing, the feet come to hip width apart. Turn the palms out so they face the space around us, engaging the core, tucking the tailbone to dasana, standing mountain pose. Each and every toe is planted in the mat. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling. Nice stretch through the fingertips. Allow the palms to meet each elbow. Exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean over left. Inhale, center. Reach those arms up to the sky. Exhale, reverse swan dive. Those arms come out and away from us as we lower the chest down. Hips are high. Forward fold. Inhale, lift the back up just halfway. Exhale, soften, release the spine and the neck. Inhale, half back. Exhale, soften. Last time, inhale, half back. Exhale, soften, forward fold. All together, bending the knees as much as we need to to ground those hands on the floor. Step the feet back, hips high, down dog, hold. As we inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, shift the shoulders over wrist. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot the right heel up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend into right knee, shift shoulders over ribs. Inhale, press through the right heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into knee, shoulders come over ribs. Last time, inhale, shoot that right heel up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into the right knee. Just as a transition, draw that right foot between the hands, low lunge. Making sure that ankle's underneath the knee all together. Allow the back knee to meet the ground. The top of that back foot meets the ground as well. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling. As we exhale, releasing the right hand down into the floor, extend through the left side. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate over opposite side. Inhale, center, exhale, release both hands. Come off the back knee by flipping the back toes, finding ourselves in a low lunge. All together, inhale, draw the right foot back, hips high, down dog, holding here. Take a deep breath. All together, inhale, draw the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bending into the left knee, shoulders come over ribs. Inhale, shoot that left heel right back up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into the left knee, comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over ribs. Inhale, press through left heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into left knee, shoulders move over ribs. Last time, inhale, send the left heel up to the sky, three-legged dog. And as we exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, just as a transition to draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge, ankles underneath the knee, all together, release the back knee to the ground, flip onto the top of that back foot. Inhale, draw both arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the left hand down onto the ground as we extend through the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate over opposite side. Inhale, 
inhale, right back to center. Exhale, release these hands. Let those back toes come off the back knee, low lunge. Inhale, draw the left foot back, hips high, down dog, hold. Inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest, just as a transition. Place that right foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling, high lunge. As we exhale, release that back foot to the ground, 45 degrees. Allow those arms to come out to parallel. Warrior two, check in with the fingertips, no lazy arms. Inhale, flip the top hand. Exhale, high five the back wall, reverse warrior. Breathe. As we inhale, the arms come right back to parallel, warrior two. Take a deep breath. Next inhalation, shift that chest over the front leg, flip the top hand, allow the back arm to come forward, power warrior. Hold. And on our next inhalation, open right back up to warrior two. All together, inhale, square those hips towards the front of the room, arms reach up to the ceiling, warrior one. All together, come off the back heel onto the balls of that back foot, high lunge. Exhale, release those hands down onto the ground. Inhale, step the right foot back, hips high, down dog, breathe. Inhale, draw the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bring that left knee in towards the chest. Just as a transition, draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling, high lunge, hold. On our next exhalation, releasing that back foot at about a 45 degree angle, Reach those arms out so they're parallel to the ground. Warrior two, hold. Inhale, flip the top hand. Exhale, high five the back wall. Reverse warrior. Breathe. On our next inhalation, coming right back to warrior two. Inhale, shift the chest over the front thigh. Flip that top hand, back hand comes over, high power warrior. Breathing. Reaching even through those fingertips so the arms don't get lazy. Inhale, open up, right back, warrior two. On our next inhalation, reach those hands up to the sky. Warrior one, square those hips towards the front of the room. All together, come off the back heel onto the ball of that back foot. High lunge. Exhale, release those hands down to the ground. Inhale, step the left foot back, hips high, down dog, and hold. On our next inhalation, walk those feet up towards the hands. Chest stays low. Forward fold. Inhale, lift the back up just halfway. Exhale, soften, release everything, the spine, the neck, the arms. Inhale, lift the back up halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift that back just halfway. Exhale, soften, release everything. And on our next inhalation, rolling that chest up, vertebrae by vertebrae. That means our head comes up very, very last, grounding those feet at hip width apart, making sure each and every toe is planted on the mat. Turn the palms out, Tadasana, standing mountain pose, shoulders are away from the ears. Inhale, draw both hands up to the sky. 
reaching through those fingertips. As we exhale, right hand comes down towards the right side, extend through the left arm. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate over, opposite side. Inhale, center, exhale, reverse swan dive. Those arms come out and away as we lower the chest down, lift through those hips. Take a deep breath, forward fold. Inhale, lift the back up just halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift the back up halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, half back, last time. Exhale, release, everything softens, forward fold. All together, bend those knees as much as we need to to ground the hands on the floor. Set the feet back, hips are high, down dog, holding here. As we inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over ribs. Inhale, shoot the right heel back up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend it out, right knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over ribs. Inhale, right heel reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest. Just as a transition to release that right foot down onto the mat between the hands, low lunge, all together release the back knee. Allow the top of that back foot to meet the ground. Inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down towards the ground, even if it's just the fingertips as we extend through the left side. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate over. Left hand meets the ground, extend through the right side. Inhale, center, exhale, release those hands down onto the ground, foot onto the tops of those toes, coming off the back knee, low lunge. All together, inhale, step the right foot back, Hips are high, down dog, breathe. Inhale, draw left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, reach through left heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over wrists. Inhale, left heel reaches up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. And as we exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shoulders move over wrist. Just as a transition, allow that left foot to come between the hands, low lunge. All together, release the back knee, flip onto the top of that back foot. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling. As we exhale, release the left hand to the ground, extend through the right side. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate over. Right hand meets the ground, extend through the left side. Inhale, center, exhale, release both hands down onto the ground. Flip onto the tops of those toes, come off the back knee, low lunge. All together, inhale, send the left foot back, hips high, down dog, hold. As we inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest. Just as a transition, draw that right foot between the hands, low lunge, ankles underneath the knee. Inhale, draw both arms up towards the ceiling, high lunge, pressing through that back foot for balance. As we exhale, open up the back foot to 45 degrees, reach those arms out to each side of the room, warrior two. 
Check in with those fingertips. Inhale, flip the top hand. Exhale, high five the back wall. Reverse warrior. Inhale, come right back to center. Take a deep breath, warrior two. On our next inhalation, shifting that chest over the front leg. Flip the top hand as we draw the back arm forward overhead. Power warrior. Making sure that core is engaged along with the muscles in the side body to support the arms here. Nice pressure into the front leg. Inhale, open back up. Warrior two, check in with those fingertips. On our next inhalation, shift the hips so they're square towards the front of the room. Reach the arms up to the sky. Warrior one. All together, come off the back heel, pressing into the balls of that back foot for high lunge. Exhale, release the hands. Step the right foot back, hips high, down dog. Pull. Inhale, lift the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest. Just as a transition, draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, reach those arms up to the sky, high lunge. All together, release the back foot down to the ground at about 45 degrees. Reach those arms out so they're parallel to the floor. Warrior two, check in with those fingertips. Inhale, flip the top hand. Exhale, high five the back wall, reverse warrior. Breathe. Inhale, come right back to center. Warrior two. On our next inhalation, shift that chest over the front thigh. Flip the, top, the front hand. Sending that back hand overhead, power warrior. Again, making sure that core is engaged. Those muscles in the side body are supporting the arms here. Breathe. Inhale, come right back to center. Warrior two, check in with those fingertips. Inhale, reach both arms up to the ceiling. Hips square towards the front of the room, warrior one. All together, come off the back heel onto the balls of that back foot, high lunge. Exhale, release those hands, send the left foot back, hips high, down dog, pressing through those shoulder blades. Breathe. On our next inhalation, walk those feet up towards the hands, chest stays low. Forward fold. And as we inhale, lift the back up just halfway. Exhale, soften, release everything. Fold. Inhale, lift the back up halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, half back. Exhale, soften. Last time, inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. And on our next inhalation, rolling that chest up, vertebrae by vertebrae. That means our head comes up very, very last, rounding those feet at hip width apart, Tadasana. Standing mountain pose, turn those palms out so they face the space around us. Shoulders roll down the back. Check in with the core, tailbone, press those toes into the ground, finding stability here. Inhale, reach both hands up to the ceiling. Nice stretch, nice lengthening through the rib cage. All together, allow the hands to meet the elbows. Exhale, lean over right side. Inhale, center, exhale, lean over, left side. Inhale, center, allow those arms to reach up towards the sky. Exhale, reverse swan dive, lower chest, and on these arms, hips are high, forward fold. 
Inhale, lift the back up just halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, half back. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift the back just halfway. Exhale, soften. All together, bending the knees as much as we need to to ground these hands on the floor. Stack the feet back, hips are high, down dog. Inhale, draw the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists, nice and tight here. Inhale, press through the right heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into right knee, shoulder shift over wrist. Inhale, lift the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. One last time, exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, send the right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. On our next exhale, bring that right knee in towards the chest. Just as a transition, drop the right foot between the hands, adjusting so that ankle's underneath the knee. All together, releasing the back knee, flipping onto the top of that back foot before we inhale. Drop both arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the right hand, even if it's just those fingertips reaching through that left arm. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate over opposite side. Left hand meets the ground, extend through the right side. Inhale, center, reaching through both hands. Exhale, allow those palms to meet the ground, coming off the back knee by flipping those toes. All together, inhale, send the right foot back, hips high, down dog, hold. Inhale, draw the left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring left knee in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, send the left heel up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the chest, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, send left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring left knee in towards the chest. Just as the transition to draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge. All together, releasing the back knee to the ground, flipping onto the top of that back foot. Before we inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, release the left hand down to the ground, even if it's just those fingertips extend through the right side. Inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, rotate over, opposite side. Inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, release both hands. Come off the back knee by flipping those back toes. Inhale, send that left foot back. Hips are high, down dog. Inhale, draw right heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Just as a transition, draw that right foot between the hands, low lunge, ankles underneath the knee. Inhale, reach both arms up to the ceiling, high lunge. As we exhale, open up those arms, the hip, allow that back foot to meet the ground at about 45 degrees, warrior two. Inhale, flip the top hand, Exhale, high five the back wall, reverse warrior. Extending through the right side of the rib cage, nice compression in the left side body. Inhale, come right back to center, warrior two. And our next inhalation, shift that chest over the front thigh, flip the top hand. Exhale, allow that 
back arm to reach overhead. Breathe. Nice engagement in the core here. Inhale, open right back up, warrior two. All together, reach those hands up to the sky, square those hips towards the front of the room, warrior one. Coming off the back heel onto the ball of that back foot, I lunge. All together, release the hands down to the ground. Inhale, send the right foot back, hips high, down dog, hold. Inhale, draw left heel up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. As we exhale, bring left knee in towards the chest. Shoulders move over wrists. Just as a transition, draw that left foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, draw both arms up to the ceiling, high lunge. Breathe. All together, as we exhale, release that back foot about 45 degrees. Reach through each hand parallel to the ground, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front hand. Exhale, high five the back wall, reverse warrior. On our next inhalation, come right back to warrior two. Inhale, shift the chest over the front thigh, flip the front hand, allow the back hand to reach overhead. Hold. Inhale, open right back up to our warrior two. Allow the hands to straighten out to our sides. On our next inhalation, square those hips towards the front of the room, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Warrior one, all together come off the back heel, pressing into the ball of that back foot for high lunge. Exhale, release these hands. Inhale, step the left foot back, hips are high, down dog. Breathe. If we'd like, paddling out the feet, lifting one heel as we send the opposite down, bending into one knee as we extend the opposite. All together, come to our down dog, nice and firm. Release the knees all the way down into the ground. The toes meet each other, widen out those knees. Send the hips all the way down, chest comes nice and low. Child's pose. Breathe. Allow the arms to be completely soft here and those hands, no tension in the fingertips or in the elbows, so nice and soft here. And then our next inhalation, we're making our way back up to a tabletop position, but that's just as a transition to make our way all the way down onto our backs for some cool downs today. Finding our spines nice and long, nice cozy spot for our head. As we inhale, bring both knees in towards the chest or kind child's pose. If we'd like giving ourselves a little hug here, we can rock from side to side. Massage the full length of the spine. All together, keep the right knee in close to the chest. Send that left heel straight up to the sky. And as we exhale, lowering the left leg all the way down to the ground with complete control. Once that left foot meets the ground, we can roll out the right ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. We have the option to stay right here, getting a nice stretch in the right hip joint. Otherwise, we can allow that right knee to come over the left side body in a twist. Now we're not forcing or pulling that right knee down to the ground. We're allowing our spine to fall and flow as it naturally does. So if there's some space between the right knee and the ground, it's perfectly fine. 
hanging out here, allowing that spine to be long. Breathe. Allow the heart rate and the breath to start to slow down. If we'd like to explore extending the right leg straight out, how that shifts the twist and the muscles in the low back, feel free to do so. As we inhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest. If we went for a twist, inhale, left knee comes up to meet it, recline child's pose. All together, extend the right heel straight up to the sky. And then exhalation, allowing that right leg to come down towards the ground with complete control. Once it meets the ground, rolling out the left ankle clockwise, counterclockwise. If we'd like hanging out right here, opening up the left hip joint, otherwise allowing that left knee to come across the body in a twist. Again, not forcing or pulling that left knee down to the ground, allowing there to be some space between the floor and our knee if that's what our back allows. If we'd like exploring what extending that left leg straight out feels like on the back, Inhale, bring the left knee in towards the chest. All together, bring the right knee up to meet it. Recline child's pose. We can rock from side to side. All together, releasing both feet down to the ground and allowing both legs to come to full extension. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. On our next inhalation, pressing through the heels, getting a nice stretch in the backs of the legs and behind the knees. And we can go ahead and exhale, release those heels. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Nice stretch through the rib cage and the shoulders. Exhale, release those arms nice and soft. On our next inhalation, pressing through the toes, Getting a nice stretch in the front of those legs as we reach through the fingertips, full body stretch. And exhale, release. We can go ahead and allow those arms to come down to our sides, the feet to come wider than hip width apart. So they splay out nice and naturally. Taking a couple moments to check in with the body. Notice any sensation in the toes, in the balls of the feet, and in the soles, in the tops of the feet, and around each ankle. Notice the calves and the shins around each knee. quadriceps and the hamstrings, allow the hips to be heavy, check in with the stomach and the inner organs, notice the rib cage, the heart and the lungs, notice the collarbone, the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps. Notice each elbow, the forearms, the wrists, the palms of the hands, and out each and every fingertip. Find a softness a release of tension and following that release into the neck. Perhaps gently looking to the right, back to center, then looking to the left. Finding ourselves relaxed, back at center, check in with the jaw. 
removing the tongue from the roof of the mouth so the lips part naturally allow the cheekbones and the eye sockets to be heavy releasing any tension from between the eyebrows or the forehead finding ourselves fully relaxed, fully supported by the mat beneath us, our mind solely focused on this body, on this moment, right here. Notice the rise and fall of the chest with our breathing, perhaps how the body has cooled since the bulk middle of our practice. And we have the option to stay in our corpse pose for another moment or so. Otherwise, unless we're pregnant or have high blood pressure, we can roll over to the right side. Allow the knees to come in nice and close the chest follows in a fetal position just allowing ourselves to be close with the body wherever we are all together i'd like us to take this time to send a thank you note to the body and mind that brought us to the map today even if that thank you is just for being able to make it onto the map it's nothing more and nothing less than that Perhaps that thank you note is for supporting us each and every day, even when we don't notice. Or maybe that thank you looks like a compliment we needed to hear today or this week and giving that compliment to ourselves. A reminder of the power in our own opinions. sending that thank you note if we'll make our way back up to a resting seated position much like the one we started our class with today we can bring the hands to heart center for our third eye i thank you all for sharing this practice with me and for allowing me to lead you through it the light and the love within me sees i bow and recognize the light and the love within you and i thank you namaste